Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse on Pearl Street, between the two courthouses. Um, first, on the Trump docket, there actually is a big filing now. Um, yesterday, uh, in the district, for the District of Columbia, the Judge Chutkan, January 6th case, um, Team Trump filed a, uh, a memo uh, arguing that have to deal with the discovery issues before getting to the uh, presidential immunity issues on remand from the Supreme Court. So we'll see how that goes. That would push things back even further. They also cited, uh, among other things, the solar winds hack, various things. So uh, we, we put something up about that, and it can be found. It obviously on the, there's been a, at least a one day, and there's going to be more lull, you know, seeming lull on the uh, U.S. versus Sean Combs. There was a you know, a uh, bail fight on Tuesday, which he lost, bail fight on Wednesday, right behind me, on the first floor of the building, directly, directly behind me, um, also lost. We started now dr drilling back into the many civil cases that are pending here. There's Little Rod, Little Rod Jones, of course. There's a Jane Doe case. There's Adriana English. There's Crystal McKinney Neal. Um, so we're going to be going through all of those cases. We're, we're putting together something. And in previous such cases, we've done books, booklets, uh, and this is what we're on the thing. But we're on alert for all of those cases, and uh, we're going to be seeing for also, obviously, any superseder. Now, we returned yesterday, in the absence of, of a third uh, Sean Combs bail fight, to the magistrate's court. And there were a number of cases. Um, one guy who had previously been convicted of... Uh, prostituting out young girls, uh, served some time, and now he's out again with guns, and in any event, he was detained. But there was a guy that wasn't detained, and the problem was this. He was presented, and there was a sidebar between the US, assistant U.S. attorney, federal defender, and the judge, um, and then it was agreed that the guy for large, the guy could be released on $100,000 $100, unsecured bond on his own signature, out of the courthouse that day. When I first went and looked it up in Pacer, the case was there but without any documents. And when I checked it just a few hours later, the case was entirely gone. It was gone um, from Pacer. The case has been disappeared. Presumably the guy is a cooperator, but there's something something stuck in my craw about that. So I'm going to, at the end, I have a few lines on that. What I will say is that the United Nations General Assembly, quote, high level week is even closer than ever before. It begins, the speeches began on Tuesday, um, but there's something called the summit of the future. And I want to say that it's a total fraud. This the proponent of the summit of the future is Antonio Guterres, a man of the past, a man who bans the press, and just objectively, if you look at the last year of UN performance, whether it's Ukraine, Gaza, or conflicts they in the past they would have been trying to solve, like Sudan, they were thrown out of Sudan. So the UN is in total freefall, and we're going to be covering it, even though we're banned from it. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, this is the, these are the lines. All and again, this is this r relates to a case that's now disappeared. So uh, whether it's news or, or, or something else, you be the judge. All you'll see is my hoodie. My case is pulled out of pacer. Red beard prosecutor is hooking me up. My lady in the gallery, leather pants. I will be leaving this courthouse today. This is all you'll see. And that's it. Okay, so this is Friday. Unless there's breaking news, this will be the last one of the week. Have a good weekend, and Inner City Press is on the case.